just after 11.30. Uh, officers responded to a very confusing event that involved shooting inside the Starbucks. Uh, they were treating it as a type of a hostage barricade. We didn't really know what was going on. Uh, and after the shooting, there was a lot of people inside, uh, customers, employees, um, and trying to determine who was involved and who was not involved uh, took a little bit of time. We do have a person detained that we believe is a suspect. We have one person who is deceased at Spring Valley Hospital. So the preliminary investigation is that there was an argument inside of Starbucks and the suspect uh, shot the victim. Um, and then the early information was he proceeded to come outside and he was mixed in with some of the people who were evacuating and they didn't know if the suspect was still inside. So there was a lot of initial confusion which you may have heard. There was some comments about a suspicious backpack that he had, he left, uh, and also a, a pickup truck that's at the scene that belongs to him. Somebody made a comment, and I haven't found out who made the comment about this possible explosive device in the backpack, and that's why everybody's been moved out of the neighboring businesses, and as soon as that is determined not to be an explosive device, this will solely be a homicide investigation. At this point, the uh, armor, bomb squad, and there's obviously going to be some federal involvement here until that is determined not to be an explosive device. So that's what's taking a while, and they have a robots, and their work, they're doing their part. Um, I've already spoken to a number of the witnesses, myself. Uh, there's probably 12 to 14 of them, just to assure them that, uh, that uh, it's going to be a little while. It's going to be a little while, uh, you know, until we get to them. Uh, there was a couple of witnesses that did shoot, see the shooting, uh, so we have to get through that. We do have the person detained also that we, we believe did the shooting. So as far as it, and I want to make it clear, there, we don't have any nexus to terrorism. Um, if it turns out to be an explosive device or something, uh, an unusual device in the backpack, obviously that will change everything. So that is not my realm of, of what is in the backpack or what he brought to this into the Starbucks, but I, apparently the, the uh, backpack is outside the Starbucks and his pickup is parked behind the uh, Bank of America. So there, this could be a few hours before it's resolved. So for the people in the area, just bear with us. For the neighboring businesses, just please, uh, you know, we're trying to do what's, what's the best thing for the community and uh, for safety in case there is anything suspicious. We, we, we're erring on the side of caution at, at this point. Uh, and then once it's resolved, homicide will completely uh, take over the investigation.